Marvelous. How's everybody doing today? Good? So, huge round of applause to Murad. He was one of the top drivers. I know he wasn't here yesterday. Yeah. Round of applause to him. Uh, Murad, you get a pick of any one of these beautiful gifts up here. You have a flask, you have a ring doorbell, headphones, um, earbuds, speakers, wireless speakers, whatever you want, buddy. You pick. Headphones. Headphones? All right. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sir. Good job. And then I have, uh, Marlene, I have your uh, cooler box in here. I'm going to give this to you. Marlene was, uh, I think, about two or three weeks ago. She was one of the top drivers. Here you go. That's for you. This thing is pretty good. It has speakers in here. All right. You could, uh, it's a Bluetooth speaker. Cooler box. All right. Um, so, Louis. Everybody, gonna move out here so I can see your handsome face. Uh, Julio, Sano, um, Etienne, everybody, I say like, and Chris, great job today. Uh, and in the past few weeks, also, um, and all of these other people. I just wanted to talk about a couple other things other than our mentor compliance and also making sure about our safety uh, trips. So we've been, um, asking everybody to make sure you watch your Netrodyne, right? There were a few vans, uh, the Amazon vans that did not have the Netrodyne cameras. Guess what, tonight they're coming in to install nine more. So the sooner you start to learn how to drive them, the, the vans with the cameras, the better it is for everybody. Mm -hmm. So all of those people that used to be like, well, I'm not driving this, I told you this. That's why we wanted to rotate people in and out so they get a hang of it, they know how to drive it, and honestly, it develops very, very, very good um, driving habits. In your personal life as well, you start to pay a little more attention, so it's good for you. So all of those vans that did not have, other than the white vans, right? All of those Amazon vans that did not have any cameras, they're gonna get them, uh, we're gonna get them installed tonight. I have no choice in this, that Amazon, I mean, we just learned to have to live with it. That means we have fewer white vans and then there's also um, Amazon that says, you know, for X amount of routes, we need to send extra large vans. So I just hope that you understand when these people assign you vans, we'll try our best to accommodate your request, but it won't happen all the time, guys. So just, just note that. Um, second, I was gonna hit on is mentor compliance. I know the vans have cameras, but we still need to sign into mentor, very important. Um, that's why you'll have Adnan or whoever is dispatching earlier uh, in the day will call you to say you guys are not logged into Mentor, you need to do that. So very important. Uh, if you do not have a Mentor account, let me know. Uh, we'll do it. If you forgot the password, I can help you reset it. But definitely uh, we need to do that. Eventually they're going to phase it out, but not anytime soon. I think they're going to come to that point uh, where all of the vans have cameras. So Mentor is going to be obsolete. But up until then... We need to keep on doing that. So I know it's a little extra thing. Good way to get your mentor score up is by doing what? Anybody, good ha driving habits, not speeding and all of that, but what else can you do? Stop, stop, right? Yep, uh, anything put else? Put on your second phone. Thank you, right. Jeremy, that was what I was looking your for, second right? Work phone, not second your phone. work phone, you put it on so that if you don't, if you move it, there's no distractions involved in it, right? Um, so th those are the things that I wanted to make sure. So you hit on, Definitely mentor, everybody needs to sign in. Um, we need to make sure that we are paying attention to our driving skills and we need to do. Also, again, huge round of applause to the entire team. We were able to get our DNRs, which is packages that were stolen, misplaced, or the customer claims they never received them, down by about 30%. We wanna keep that trend. We wanna keep on going down. So apartment complexes, especially Waterbury, Please make sure that you put it in the right place. And if you feel like the package is going to be stolen, don't leave it there. Bring it back. I'll fight that battle any day of the week, right? Now, switching gears, uh, just wanted to, you know, give everybody a quick talk about, you know, how we get up in the morning, we talk about things. Sometimes you have that feeling like, oh, you know, just bad things are going to happen to me today, right? A lot of people have that. Sometimes you go to play or... Sometimes you do things and you say, well, you know what? That's too good to be true, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You have that inner feeling. You have that inner voice. If you get up with a positive mindset mm -hmm. in the morning and you say, you know what? Today, good things are going to happen to me. Mm -hmm. Guess what? 
good things will happen to you. That's a lie. No. Even if bad things happen, happen. <laughs> yeah. Mylene, if you keep on that lottery thing, you're never going to win it, right? So there's a difference. There's a difference between a positive mindset, guys. There's a difference between positive mindset. So if you firmly believe every morning that there are challenges, right? I know there are a bunch of you that are single parents. You know, you have issues, financial issues, housing issues, car troubles, work. We all want to be somewhere sipping margaritas. On a beach, we drink. have to work, right? This is how we pay our bills. Take pride in your job, right? Deep down, you believe that good things are going to happen. How many of you want to be successful? Raise your hands, right? We all do. Now, the next question I want you to answer, you don't have to raise your hands, but think about it carefully. How many of you think you will be successful? Thank you, right? There's a difference between wanting something and thinking that you're going to be successful. Think about it, right? We want to retire by a certain age, right? We want to do a certain things, right? There are times that you're thinking about a you know, positive mindset. If you go home, one of us goes home today and they realize I'm almost broke. If you think I'm broke, that's bad. If you think to yourself, I'm having a cash flow issue today, that's a little better, right? But then you think about it, how are you going to solve it? by working, right? All of you that are here, you're ahead of the game. Everybody, I can assure you that. You made that commitment to come to work. There's a lot of right? people that don't even have a job. Yep, you made that commitment, right? I wanna sleep all day. I mean, I can't, I mean, if I tried, but, you know, we wanna stay at home, we wanna do things that we love to do, but, so I wanna say thank you to all of you, I'm proud of you, you made that commitment. You're ahead, you're ahead like 98% of the people. Like, you made that commitment to come into work, Came in with a positive mindset, and we're gonna knock it out of the park today, right? We wanna be successful in our lives. Trust me, I was a single parent. I still am, for almost 15 years. So a lot of the challenges that you guys go through, I've been through some of it myself. I know the challenges. And I was, it was my, my daughter, she's 19, she's gonna be 19 next month, but you know, raising a daughter, a single dad, I have some stories. Yes, trust me. The first time that we went to Pink, I know. <laughs> I know that feeling, guys. I stood outside like I was in jail. I didn't want to go in, right? The first time I went to Sephora to buy eyeliner, I know more about eyeliners than some of these women up here. Trust me, that. Right? Perfumes, I know more about that. But, the, the, <laughs> that, yeah, but, you know, all I'm saying is that, you know, I want you to understand that, you know, that positive mindset does help. So take take that step back. Good things will happen, right? Keep yourself positive. Think of things in a way. And I said to you multiple times that, you know, both Bernard and myself, we're here. If you have any issues that you want to talk about, please do so. We're here for you. It's not just about work. We have other lives in ourselves as well. So today we're running, uh, I think, 25, right, Adnan? Sorry. 25, 25 minutes today? 24 vans, uh, tw uh, we have some vans also that, um, I know there's issue like uh, Jeremy put it out yesterday, the door and everything, but the vans do work, they run uh, compared to like how many vans in the shop, transmission shop, just the, yesterday another van, actually Murat's van number six that he drives, which the transmission was shot, can't use it today. So I'm trying to accommodate a lot of you. So, and, um, so any vans that have transmission issues, they're gonna be out for a few months because these dealerships are just backed up, guys. So we're trying our best yeah, to stick like with us. Um, oil deep. Yeah, okay. so uh, we're, we're trying our best. But again, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate the effort that everybody's putting in. Um, we're going to knock it out of the park. I have full faith in everybody here. All right, guys? Thank you. Have a good day. All of those that are in first wave, all of you that are in first wave, you guys know you're supposed to head out there um, soon. Uh, and then those that are in second wave, please make sure you're out there. Scan everything. Call people. Put the packages where they belong. Read the customer instructions, all right? I have a question about that. Yes. What happens when you have two packages for the same house? Once they put it in one location and the other one... Put it in the safer location. Yeah. yeah. Go to the safer location. The safer back door, go to the back door. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. what if they complain later? Oh, you didn't... Well, well once in a while, that will happen. But put it in the safer location, all right? Thank you. Thank you, guys.